In this task, we will import the raster file that we will perform an unsupervised classification on and create an image group. This will prepare the imagery for input for the classification. So we're going to click File, Import Raster Data, Common Formats Input. This is r.n.gdal. This will uh, open the Import Raster Data module. So we're going to set the following options. For the source type, we're going to choose File. For the source settings, we're going to choose Erdas Imagine. So let me find that here. .img. There we go. For the file, I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to look into my lab directory and find tmsacsub and click Open. For the list of all GDAL layers, I'm going to make sure that the tmsacsub image is checked. And I'm going to make sure that Add Imported Layers in the Layer Tree is also checked. I'm going to click the Import button. And then I'm going to click Close to close the dialog. I'm going to select the Layer Manager window. Here we go. And I'm going to select the Command Console tab if it didn't already open. The console displays the results of the import function, as you can see here. Note that the tool imported six rasters, one raster for each raster band. Grass treats each band as a separate raster map. Each band can be visualized separately or, if desired, a composite can be created, such as the composite created in Lab 3 for this course. To perform an image classification, the raster maps, or raster bands, must be combined into a group and subgroup. A group is a collection of raster maps. A subgroup is a subset of the group's raster maps that will be utilized in the image classification. So, for instance, if you had a group of bands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but only wanted to use bands 3 and 4 for analysis, you would create a subgroup containing only bands 3 and 4. When we imported TM SACSUB, Grass created a group for us named TM underscore SACSUB. We will edit the group containing all six raster maps to add a subgroup containing all the raster maps, since we'll use all bands for our unsupervised classification. So to do this, I'm going to click Imagery, Develop Images and Groups, and Create slash Edit Group. This will open the iGroup, i.group module, and the Creator Edit Imagery Groups dialog. I'm going to enter TM SACSUB underscore group as the group name. So tm sac sub underscore group or I could have also uh, selected this and then remove the end and typed in group. It does some matching based off of the uh, name for the group and you can see that it automatically populated with the six tm sac sub raster maps. If the layers do not populate I can click add and then check the boxes next to the six TM SAC sub uh, maps. I'm going to check define uh, also subgroup and I'm going to click OK to add the subgroup and dismiss the tool. Now that the imagery has been loaded and a group and subgroup have been specified, the last step is to set the region. If you recall from lab 3, a region is a subset of a location defined by a rectangular bounding box. The region is important for raster and imagery operations as it bounds the area that will participate in any raster and imagery operations executed in GRASS. A region is an operating parameter set when working in GRASS. So let's set the region equal to one of the TM SAC sub raster maps since they all can uh, cover the same region. If we select one, it should represent the region for all of them. So I'm going to click Settings, Region, Set Region. That's the, uh, that'll open the G.Region uh, module. And I'm going to set the following options. So for multiple set region to match this raster map, here we go here, I'm going to choose TM SAC sub 1. And it's going to add the at classification after it. Uh, because that is uh, that, that denotes that TM SAC sub 1 is stored in the classification map set. I'm now going to click run 
the tool will switch to the command output tab. If you do not see any line that begins with the word error, then the region has been successfully set. And so I don't see that here, so we are good to go. So I'm going to click close to close the region tool. So with the imagery loaded, group and subgroups defined, and region set, we can now perform the unsupervised classification.